Look at that wonderful scenery. Hey, today I'm going to show you guys how you can catch rainbow trout, trophy rainbow trout, and unique rainbow trout here on the beautiful Falcon Lake in Oregon in Fishing Planet. Greetings and salutations guys, Jake Vegas here with Jake Vegas Digital and today we're going to do some fishing. I'm out here on uh, Falcon Lake in Oregon and we're going to try to go for rainbow trout, both common and trophy. So here's my rig set up, I got the Nero 12 foot 10 inch pole. It is somewhat of a lower uh, level pole so you guys who aren't quite up there in the level should be able to get it. If not, um, there's other equipment that is lower level equipment that you can use as long as it can handle your rod can handle about eight pound test you should be okay got my prima 3500 reel on this one again same deal this is a higher level reel but you can get by with something lower as long as it can handle about eight pound test and i've got a three out hook because i'm going to try to go for trophies mainly so i'm going to want to uh, have that hook on there and i've got small minnows is going to be used as my bait. Got the chubby bobber to withstand the weight of the small minnows. And I'm fishing 7.5 pound braided line. But you can get by probably with anything from about 6 pound test up to 8 pound test. Because um, you still want to enjoy with uh, lighter equipment. is better because you probably want to enjoy the fight that these fish have. If you're a higher level you don't want to use you know too heavy of equipment. It'll, it'll take all the fun out of it. So uh, you can get by with fluoro line. You can also get by with mono line and braided line as well. So this is mainly going to be a float fishing video. Um, I'm going to maybe cast out a few lures here and there, but I want to show you guys that not only can you cast these trout off of lures, but you can do it flow fishing as well. So uh, yeah, got my leader set anywhere between 45 to 55 in this particular area. And we'll head out there and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can try to catch ourselves a few rainbow trout all right guys so i spawned in a bridge of logs and i come down here and as you'll see off right around here you'll notice that there is like a little indentation in the rocks now i go ahead and cast out there anywhere from about 75 to 80 feet out there's a little ledge there and you want to get the bait to just drop just like that so it's just kind of hanging off that ledge. Now look, it kind of looks like we have something uh, running with it already. It's early morning, six o'clock in the morning, or five o'clock in the morning. And I'm hoping with the size three out hook and small minnows on the hook, that we can pull out some of the bigger rainbow trout that are in here. Just gonna go ahead and let it sit out there for a little bit. There we go, we got a hit. Go ahead and bring this guy in, see what he is. It's like a nice sized fish. Maybe nothing spectacular, but definitely got a little bit of weight to him. Got him out there at about 48 feet, like to reel him in. Get him up on shore, see what we got. little bit more and what are you my friend a nice three pound rainbow trout we'll go ahead and put them on the stringer so it's a little bit later into the morning I actually switched the hook to a one odd hook and I switched my bait to artificial salmon eggs I was getting hits on the three odd hook but I wasn't able to hook any of them they weren't taking it under so the hook might have been a bit too big uh, deterred them from actually going for the bait, so I switched it down to a one knot and we're going to try these artificial salmon eggs and see how well they work. Now I said 75 to 80 feet out earlier, but you're at an angle here when casting towards that little indentation. So you're going to want to uh, 
pay attention to where the ledge is at when you're at an angle. Different angles, of course, are going to be anywhere from 80 to about actually 90 feet out there, uh, depending on the angle that you're casting at. So the artificial salmon, oh, yep, looks like we got a hit. Just had to give it a little bit of a reel in. There we go. Got a fish on. Probably another rainbow trout. There are cutthroats in here. Uh, brown trout and red, or Oregon red band, red band, excuse me, trout as well. So there's a variation of them in here and... You can have any one of them on the line at any time, but in this little area here, I've noticed that the uh, the majority of the type of fish that I catch here are mainly rainbow trout and occasionally some Oregon red band trout. All of them will hit these baits, the minnows, the natural and artificial eggs and spawn sacks. Let's see what we got. Another three pounder. We'll go ahead and put them on the stringer. I am on a different part of the lake now, a little bit later in the morning. This is spawned in here, uh, I spawned in here at Trout Lair. And I got my bait casting rod and reel. It's one of the cheaper ones. It's like the first bait casting rod that you unlock, casting rod that you unlock and the first casting reel. It's an attorney. I'm not sure which model offhand, but I want to show you guys here that a variation of different lures will work out here from uh, spinners to nano spinners to medium casting spoons to narrow uh, spoons here as you can see i've got a narrow spoon three fourth ounce with a three odd hook and we got a fish on nice not a bad not a bad hit right there and the lure that i'm using is uh the, the narrow spoon um i just gave the specs for but it's the the one that has the night fishing the little moon by it it's actually a holographic spoon that is designed for nighttime but you can use it during the day too. It's holographic. So if you think about it, you're out here in this nice clear water. You got that holographic spoon flickering in the sunlight. Gonna entice these trout to give it a hit. Let's go ahead and reel this guy in. Got him almost to shore here. Let's see what kind of fish we have. Come on, buddy. What are you? Let's get you up here. All right, we got ourselves another three pound rainbow trout. Great, we'll go ahead and put him on the stringer too. Now it may be hard for you guys to see it out there because of the fog, but there is a light gray rock uh, to the right of that waterfall. And I like to cast out in that area towards the rock by the waterfall to the right of the rock, uh, to the left of the waterfall. That whole area there is great for trout now pay attention to the retrieve here because this is a steady retrieve with the spoon i let it sink to about mid depth um almost to the bottom but not quite and i just give it a steady with the real speed to one give it a steady retrieve now you can stop and go lift and drop you could do the steady retrieve a variation of here we go we got it we got another hit a variation of uh retrieves will work with these spinners and spoons so if you're not getting luck with a stop and go lift and drop, uh, try the try the steady retrieve too, because it will it will entice these trout out here. As you can see, we got one on the line. It'll entice them as well to hit that lure. Now you guys may notice that my equipment is in the yellow. I'm well aware of that. Uh, this equipment I've been fishing with it for quite some time. Have yet to have to repair it, and I I'm aware that uh that i'm gonna have to soon um so i just wanted to let you guys know that i do know that the equipment is starting to get a little beat up but we'll get her repaired as soon as possible trout's almost in here let's see what we got another three pound rainbow trout not bad not bad at all so it's a little later in the morning uh looks like it's about quarter till eight and i'm back over here where i spawned in again is bridge of logs back to our little spot here with the indentation in 
gonna go ahead and reel that uh, bait in until it drops off the edge just like that dangles there we already got a hit off of it and I'm gonna try to land some here we go got a fish on I'm gonna tr what the heck <laughs> I think that thing damn near jumped to the moon all right we got we got him on the line though anyway I'm gonna try to pull out some trophies and he's not a trophy that's all right though so I've caught trophies uh, off of the small minnows. I'm going to go ahead and throw that large minnow on there. Now, my line leader uh, set to 55 inches. 50 to 55 inches is a good, good um, depth to have for these guys. But I've caught trophies off the small minnows. But I'm not having luck with the small minnows getting the bigger trophy rainbow trout right now. So... I've got large minnows. You guys won't be able to unlock these until a little bit later. Actually, a lot later, but if you're a lower level, um, I'm just going to try this on a whim and see if any of these large minnows might actually entice some of the larger trout to go for them. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. have not fished large minnows on this lake yet. Normally, these size minnows are good for uh, northern pikes which get rather large so I might be I might have too big of a bait right now but what the hey <laughs> ah what the hell <laughs> we'll go ahead we'll go ahead and uh we'll go ahead and throw this large minnow out there like we have looks like something's actually running with it right now we might be able to catch something off this this big forage fish as bait let's see what happens I've got a one-out hook just in case. I don't want to uh, deter any fish from from biting it. I am here to make money, so any fish is good for me. As long as it's got some weight and money and experience. We got a hit off of this. You got to be kidding me. Something, something took this large minnow under. That's crazy. I was not expecting to actually get a bite on it. Wow. This thing's got this thing's got some fight to it. I'm I'm surprised. I think it might be. I think it might be a rather large trout. Might be a brown trout. I know they get pretty big in this lake, but I have yet to uh I've yet to see any brown trout specifically in this area of the lake. So man, this this uh, well it's gotta be a trout. There's nothing larger than trout in here, I don't think. And this one's got to be a big one. Got definitely got a little bit of, little bit of fight to him. My guess at this point would be that this is probably uh, either a trophy rainbow or or a large brown trout or medium-sized brown trout. We'll see if I can. He's pulling that drag. Wow. Every time I reel in, it seems like seems like he's running back out there with it. Starting to get him in a little bit better now. Got him at 44 feet. No. He's taking it, holding it steady around 50. Going back out there. Not much, but enough. Enough to make this a fight. of a gun that is a 5.3 pound unique rainbow trout i was not expecting to pull this out was not expecting to catch a unique at all 
Look at that thing. That is a beautiful trout. I mean, 5.3 pounds. I know they get bigger because I actually caught one yesterday off small minnows at about 6 pounds, I think. But 5.3 pound unique trout. Not bad at all. Caught them off the large minnow. You can catch these guys off small minnows as well. $416. He is definitely going on the stringer. Now that... That just made my day. Now I wanted to show you guys, yesterday I caught that unique six pounder rainbow trout, a little bit bigger than our five pounder we just caught, but that one was caught off a small minnow, so they work too. Just a heads up. All right, so it's about three in the afternoon here. I've been out here all morning, all afternoon, just catching Different types of trout. I went for some Oregon red bands for a bit. Caught some of those. A few brown trout. I'm back over here. Gonna try to land. Um, gonna try to land maybe some trophies, Rainbow. I know we caught that unique uh, earlier in the day. But I'm, I'm sure trophies are over here too. Wherever there's uniques, there's definitely trophies. It looks like something's running with this minnow already. Looks like... Uh, unless that's the minnow itself, but... Usually when the speed picks up, yep, that's a hit. That's a hit. Man, that thing, whoa. Where in the hell is this thing going? It's getting sucked up into the sky, Jesus. All right, okay. Uh, yeah, we got we got a pretty decent sized fish out here, I guess. We'll go ahead and try to reel them in. I know for certain here. Now, yeah, like I was saying earlier, if you happen to catch a unique by chance somewhere, which they are, they are very rare to catch. If you catch unique in a specific area on any lake, um, you're going to catch trophies in that area, too. So we got here. All right, finally. Yes. Okay. A trophy rainbow trout. Four pounder. Not bad at all. Definitely not as big as our unique, but hey, a trophy's up there, too. <laughs> All right, guys, so I've been out here all morning, all afternoon, now going into the evening. We caught some common rainbow trout. We caught a unique rainbow trout. We caught a trophy rainbow trout. Gonna, gonna throw a couple more casts out here. Try to catch one more trout for you guys. See what kind it is. And then, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go about my day. <laughs> As usual, at the bridge of logs, the bridge is off to the left. Got our bait out there in the little indentation about 75 to 85 feet out. And uh, we'll see if we get a hit off here. One last hit for you. Now, I don't want you guys to think if you're new to Fishing Planet that you can only catch trout off float fishing. That's why earlier in the day I went out there with one of those casting spoons to demonstrate. But there are trout all over this lake and you can catch them. Um, off those nano spoons you can catch them off of the regular spoons casting spoons and you can catch them also off of uh crankbaits 12 foot crankbaits have worked good for me out here too but right now just enjoying some relaxing float fishing as we've seen the whole video we got a hit we got a fish on this is going to be the last fish of the day let's pull this guy in here Taking it out to the right, man. They like to go. They like to go out there. They want to get to the open lake, get out of this little stream area, but we're not going to let him. Oh, no. We are not going to let him escape. This feels like another good-sized fish. Still haven't pulled any brown trout out in this area. He's coming in nice now. Feels like got him at about 33, and then he starts running with it again. Maybe I should stop opening my big mouth. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll go ahead and get you in. You fighting son of a gun. Get you in here. Come on. One thing I got to say is that this lake is absolutely beautiful. The, uh, the design of it is great. The water it looks nice and clear. The forest, the sounds, everything is just real relaxing. And we're gonna go ahead. We got ourselves another trophy rainbow trout. What a great way to end this episode. Two trophies, one unique, and a bunch of common. We'll go ahead and put this guy on the stringer. All right, guys. 
I'm going to go ahead and conclude this episode here. Uh, if you guys know the drill, if you enjoyed this video, click that like button to stay up to date on future content. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world. And we will see you next time.